when people initially get the sticks, if you walk along with them clipped together, if it's this type, if you walk along with them clipped together, it's a hell of a job when you need to use them. So walk along with them just with a finger stuck in between like that. And what I found with the deer is I stop, I've seen deer. Maybe the deer's seen me as well. But in any case, if I do that and I break my outline, I become a person. But if I keep my hands in front of my body, I find that I can actually get away with doing all of this with the deer, with some idea that I'm around. I never swing the rifle down. I just bring the rifle forwards. And once I've got to this position, the animal's got a fair amount of problems coming because if I just manage to hook that over there, everything's very, very slow, no rapid movements at all. And I've actually managed to go through that sequence within 25, 30 meters of a number of deer, which I've since eaten. <laughs> Just very quietly through the sequence. You've got to practice it. If the deer's only 20 or 30 meters away, that's all you need to do. You don't need the other bit. But if it's further away, like this, you just need to be able to get that one done very quietly behind the rifle, just really quietly, and then set up. And having done all of that, I've often watched deer for five or 10 minutes. And bear in mind now, I could watch them for 20 minutes because I'm just stood here. I did famously do this once with a very well-known UK deer stalker and watched the deer for about 15 minutes and got in such a tizzy, tizzy hissy fit of a sort of, well, it wasn't even buck fee because it wasn't, it was like that, that I actually pulled the shot low. Incredibly lucky to really miss it. But, you know, lessons learned, never too young, never too old to learn. And once you're in that situation, really, it's virtually all over. and always reload on the sticks, be ready for a second shot if you need one. We've actually used this position out at WMS to 900 meters, <laughs> shooting at figure 11 targets, obviously not loathing animals, um, with some success. You know, you wouldn't think you could possibly do it without a bipod and a sandbag and a, you know, F-class rifle or whatever it is, but actually you can do it with sticks. <laughs>